Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So homegirl Rosie, you already know. I feel like I've never really talked about um, or ate with you guys while having braces. And I know that like when you first get braces, like your whole like lifestyle kind of changes, um, especially your eating style. So I just wanted to come on here and let you know um, things that I can and cannot eat with braces ever since I did get them on a year ago so the number one thing that I cannot eat or that was at least recommended by my orthodontics um, to not eat was hard or crunchy foods so that could include like chips and candy like hard candy that could include tostadas, you know, like for like your ceviche. Um, that could also include like the hard shell tacos. And the reason why um, they don't, the ortho doesn't let us eat those things is because your brackets, like these little things, they could break. And if they break, they could like put it back on. But if you always keep breaking them, if every time you go to your dentist appointment, you're breaking brackets and you're breaking more than one, they are going to charge you extra. They are going to charge you extra if you keep breaking your brackets. Um, I guess maybe it's also like depending on the dentist that you go to. I know for me, they will charge me extra if I come with like so many broken brackets. I have broken a couple. I want to say maybe like one or two, but not that many. They haven't charged me yet, so I'm like very thankful about that. And then another thing that I cannot um, eat or like put in my mouth or even like chew is gum. I cannot chew gum. So if you're like um, a person that chews a lot of gum, you need to prepare yourself mentally and you need to find another habit because once you have these braces on you cannot chew gum and the reason for that is because it could get stuck in between your brackets it could get stuck like in between your gums and then that's just going to be like very sticky icky and um maybe it could even cause you like a gum disease okay i don't know i'm not an ortho obviously this is just my personal um this is just my personal journey my personal this is just my personal advice and this is what was told to me so now i'm telling you but you do your own research um you follow the instructions that your ortho is giving you and i will follow the ones that my ortho is giving me but yeah um, my ortho told me to not chew gum and also like no um no candy that's kind of like gum so like laffy taffies you know like that like sticky like like no starburst in those types of candy that are like squishy and like it's just very hard to like get out of your tea pretty much those are the only like two things that i could think of right now that my ortho told me not to eat or at least advised me not to eat i've met a couple of people i've met a handful of people actually that had braces before and they told me how they used to eat whatever they wanted and nothing would happen and in fact, some people, like, um, if I'm going out and we're eating together and I have to, like, cut my food a certain way, they'll look at me and they'll be like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that? And I'm like, uh, my ortho told me not to eat it the way you're eating it. And by this, I'm talking about, like, um, maybe, like, a hamburger, right? A hamburger, you hold it like this and that's how you eat it, right? You bite into it well once you have braces or if you do have braces you already know what i'm going to say but as a person that has braces i cannot eat my sandwich like that i cannot take like a full-on bite or of a sandwich i literally have to cut my hamburger in half in force and then like break it apart into little pieces and then eat it in bite size so once you have braces, you can no longer take direct bites. You know, because if you're eating a hamburger or if you're eating bread or if you're eating like um, 
like an apple for example please don't bite an apple please don't bite an apple like your i don't know what's gonna happen to your teeth but i'm pretty sure like your brackets will break like if you bite an apple that's something else that you cannot um eat like hard fruits um like apples coconuts um cucumbers they're sometimes hard they just tell you to like not um eat those types of foods to just stay away from it if possible but also going back to like eating hamburgers eating sandwiches when you take a bite of your food like this your the bread or the meat the lettuce whatever you're eating is going to get stuck in between your braces like it will literally get stuck and it's going to be like super hard to like take it out and if you're not like brushing or flossing your teeth properly they could probably stay in there and that's kind of gross unsanitary yeah you just don't want to do that <laughs> um but i'm gonna be honest with you guys okay i'm gonna be honest like let's keep it 100 percent here we're gonna keep it 100 um i have not 100 percent followed the instructions of my ortho which is i know i know i haven't but but then again i have so like i for sure have not um chewed gum since i got my braces like i have not chewed gum like ever since i haven't ate like um a like starburst candy not that i was really like a candy eater but yeah i don't like eat those um it, it has been a little bit hard to like stay away from the fruits um especially like coconut and like like pepinos like cucumbers like they're so bomb and i'm just like uh like i can't like sometimes like if you do want to eat those things like do it at your own risk but me myself like i'm just i just try to be careful i can't like like take a bite like just a full on bite i have to literally like break it up into little pieces cut it up into little bite sizes and then eat it and then um if you do want to eat like things that you're not really like supposed to um i would recommend and my ortho told me this too to chew with your back teeth chew with your molars because your molars are going to be stronger than the teeth in the front so yeah if you want to keep eating what you're not supposed to try to use the back molars but there's no guarantees that you are not going to break a bracket and you're not going to get charged an extra fee by your ortho don't say i didn't warn you don't say i didn't warn you but yeah i guess maybe that's it um i can't really think of anything else that i can't really eat um it's also oh it's also really hard to eat like like meat like like um if it's hard it's very hard to like chew so they don't tell you not to eat meat but it is a little bit hard to like eat eat it if it's not cut up or if you have to like if it's like a steak type to eat it like that but you could also like just um cut it up or you could also have it in like bite-sized pieces pieces and i also do want to show you like an up close of my mouth because i know we like those but this is what my mouth and teeth are looking like a year in i still have an overbite and i still have my gaps but but we are trying to close them up with rubber bands i have them here because i was just eating um but these are like the rubber bands that this, let me just show you Oh, you see that these these rubber bands i have to put it in my mouth like i put it from one bracket from this one 
to the to all the way in the back so from here to here and then you also have to put it on the other side of your mouth so like from here to here and what it this is doing is that it's helping your your mouth and your teeth shift faster so honestly I could maybe just put them on right now and my hands are clean if you're wondering um, I just finished eating So yeah, and that's basically it. That's all I do. That's all that hap that happens. Um, it's, it is a little hard to like get used to it, but then you'll get used to it. Um, eventually you could even like do it without having to use a mirror, mirror or like a camera or anything like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions about my progress, my journey, the cost, more foods that I can or cannot eat. Oh, <laughs>